The most frequently asked questions I get by women business owners and men business owners is where am I supposed to spend my time, energy, and money? Where am I supposed to have my focus? How am I supposed to focus when I have 50 million shiny red balls? I'm a business owner, I wear 50 million hats. And oh, by the way, Kathy, I also hear I'm supposed to be working on my business, not in my business. What does that even mean? Let me tell you today how you're gonna focus your time, energy, and money so that your business is successful and sustainable. That's what you're gonna get out of today's two minute video. But you have to take responsibility for these choices. You have to be strategic about what I'm going to tell you. You need to focus your time on tasks that directly impact the bottom line. Are they revenue generating activities? That's where you're supposed to be spending 80% of your time. Do I directly impact the bottom line and bring in new business? Where am I supposed to focus my energy? This is an easy one. Focus your energy on what you're very good at. What are you adept at? What do you have an innate ta a talent at? The reason I tell you to spend your energy on that is because it actually doesn't feel like work. When you're passionate and good at something and you're playing to your strengths, guess what? It takes you less time and less energy to do it because you're good at it. People have recognized that you're good at it. They're paying you to do this. That's where you should focus your energy. Now the trick is, where should you focus your money? Again, this is going to be, you have to be very responsible and diligent about how you do this and very strategic. It's your money. You don't have a lot of it. You need to understand and identify what you do really well and do that. And you need to outsource and hire out the rest. You have a high earning potential at doing one thing. You need to be doing that. So what I need you to focus your money on and actively do it. Don't be impulsive. Think about these choices about how you spend that really limited amount of money hire out bookkeeping or invoicing or shipping or social media if those aren't your strengths and that's not what you're good at and if you don't like technology or it aggravates you or you're not adept at it stop trying to improve your weaknesses play to your strengths and that is how you're supposed to focus your time energy and money your business will thrive if you decide to be responsible for the choices on how you focus your time energy and money and how you spend those valuable resources that's how your business is going to be sustainable that's how your business is going to be successful and you will enjoy your time because you will be so productive. You will feel fulfilled and happy when you're successful. That's your back pocket strategy for the week. Make it a great week. Hop on over to my Facebook page and let me know what you think.